this is, I hope, the final tinkering video in this little series about the RAID controller in this Dell 2950. And the reason being, I've spent some money from my donators. Thanks everybody. If you want to know where to donate, links are below, or you can just go to Blogspot here, megalomaniacboard.blogspot.com. Or of course, just make sure you're watching these videos without an ad blocker. That helps too. Anyway, what we've got is some EEC RAM. Now I did my reading, and this is a Perk 5i RAID controller. Um, some people thought it was a Perk 6. It's definitely a Perk 5, that's the keyboard unfortunately. And what I've got first of all is a whole new RAID controller. This is a whole new one, no battery, with RAM. It came with RAM. So I, I took a look at the RAM and it's standard EEC DDR2 and what's special about it for these is it requires 8 or 16 chips that's the that's that's the reason okay so we've got that in the background we're not going to try that first because I don't think there's anything wrong with these the reason I don't think there's anything wrong is that we saw uh, blue text on the screen saying invalid RAM with the other sticks of RAM so these will be our first port of call so let me just pop this down and I have dropped the, I have dropped the keyboard so there we go and um, unfortunately uh, we have some drives I had these I have 10 of them I got 10 for 10 pounds it's not a bad deal so uh, I'm just gonna prop it in I'm not gonna rest in we've got three drives in the front now this is just an air blanker and we've got two sticks and they're identical I don't know if you can read that it's Hynix 512 megabytes, 1R by 8, PC2 3200R 333 megahertz RAM. Okay, and I'm hoping it's good stuff. And it's going just here in the ring. You see this pink marker? That's the sticker I put on it, so we knew that's the same one. So this is still controller A. This is the one that came out of this unit and went back into this unit. Uh, it should all be fine. And we get the right way up. There we are. I'm hoping that's good. Now this will be loud. We're looking here. Let's have a Let's have a breath. We're on. I'm going to skip any memory tests that we see. So, let's skip that. And then skip. So, one quad core processor, one 3 3 megahertz, 16 gigabytes of RAM. There's the Ethernet. As far as I'm aware, it's Control R. Ah, Power Edge RAID Controller. 2006 plus Control R. FW initializing devices. And there are no devices, so this should be fine. This should just skip and we'll see what it says. Now, this server can actually take up to eight drives. Here we go. HA bus dev perk 5i integrated. The battery hardware is missing or malfunctioning or the battery is unplugged or the battery could be fully discharged. Like probably discharged. This has been unplugged an awful long time. If you continue to boot the system battery back cache will not function. The battery's connected has been allowed to charge for minutes. Yeah okay. All of the disks from the previous configuration are gone if this is an expected message yeah, it's not. We're going to continue. Enter the configuration you see to say the drive will it. Yes. No configuration present. We're in the Perk 5i RAID controller. So it was memory. They do need memory to boot. I'll put that in the comments below so everyone knows. So uh, that's the first thing I think I knew about a server now. 
but Morton didn't. Anyway, um, I'm not sure if I can plug these in. They're lighting up. Those two lit up. This one's lighting up. Okay, so this is the Perk 5 I integrated bus 2. I'm sure to exit, yeah. This one to reboot. I'm just going to reboot. I want, the, I want the drives in there. There we go. Skip. Hoping this is good. There we go, it's still there. So FW initializing device is zero. All three are lit. So yeah, I've got there's possibly eight drives can go in here, and I have ten drives. So I have two spares. So it's battery hardware again, yeah. Okay. That's fine. We'll 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 do the 30 minute thing on the night. So virtual disk zero. Physical disks, no one. Virtual disk zero. So one and delete. So it hasn't got this third drive, I haven't found that drive. Um, that's really cool. Okay. So it is here, here's the third drive. So there are two that say online, and one that says ready. So these have obviously previously been initialized in some way by something. So virtual disk management, does that mean operations? Delete virtual disk, yes. RAID 0. I don't want to span that one. Do I want to span all this? That gives me 102 gig. Um, that wouldn't be bad, just to see what happens. But it's probably a bit too much to quickly see what's going on. Um, uh, one, one. It is recommended that all newly created logical drives be initialized. Okay. So I couldn't have physical disks wrong. Virtual disk zero. I want another one. So initialization. So that was a fast initialization, whatever, whatever that is. I can't do it. If this is going to take forever, I'll quit. But if I put all the other drives in, I will set this to RAID 5. But, clearly you do need RAM. 
This is 512 megabytes of R1 by 8 PC2 3200R333 RAM. I think the spare that I've got has 256 megs of RAM. But that is definitely my RAID controller now. This machine, I will happily sort out the fan speed on it because this is the one I haven't done the fan speed on. Uh, links in the. Again, link is up here for all that, and I'll link it below directly. Um, yeah, I am happy that that is working. There we go. I will just pull those out, just for good measure. That's the end of this very brief stream. It's only uh, it's only been ten minutes or eleven minutes. I think that's a result. So, Dell Percy 5i definitely needs RAM to boot.